This is just going to be a short video on how to view your feedback from quiz attempts that you've written at sidesonline.com. So the most direct way to find your feedback is just to go into the quiz tool here at the top. And here you'll see a list of the quizzes that uh, you either can try or have tried. So you can see that I've attempted this, this first practice quiz one time. And to see my submission, uh, you click on the arrow beside the quiz name and select submissions. From here, I can see the past attempts I've taken on my quiz. So I'm going to go into attempt one. And now I can actually go into the details of each question on my practice quiz. So you can see I uh, did well on question one here. And you can even see that I got feedback on this question. Looks like I have a good understanding of scientific notation. And so that was there at the bottom of the question. Question two doesn't have that feedback. Uh, so, so you won't see that option. And then it looks like after question seven, I start to make some errors. And so in question eight here, I see another option to view a feedback on a question. And so you can go into your, when you can go into your past attempts, you can actually see individual feedback that your teacher may have left you on questions. Some of that might be automated, some of that might be directly from your teacher. And you can also see whether or not you got a question right and what the correct answer should have been. So let's go back to my quiz list here. So with the practice quiz number two, if I go to submissions, you'll actually see that I've attempted it twice. And I could select either one of those and go in and take a look at my uh, individual answers for each attempt that I did. Looks like I still got some practice to do on that one. Still struggling on number two. And so then the last thing I wanted to show you was uh, what it looks like for a test that you write using the online tool. So this is the multiple choice part of a test that I wrote for the orientation to Chemistry 12. And so again, I'll select submissions. And I can see my attempt one. But now, because this was a test, I'm not going to be able to go back and look at the individual questions and see whether I got them right or wrong. Instead, what I'm going to get is a, a more general feedback about how I did. So, uh, you know, I think the feedback I got was pretty fair because I really struggled on this test and I probably needed to do more work on the practice tests. So, so this is what the kind of thing you'll see when you write a test or a quiz using the quiz tool. So you won't always be allowed to see those individual questions depending on what, what the case is. Then the last thing I wanted to show you was the other place you can view your quiz feedback. And that's through your the class progress tab here. And this is a place you should be getting used to going uh, to see lots of different types of feedback in your course. So you can see your grades list from here. You can see uh, your previous assignment submissions and feedback on your assignment submissions. and just in the same place, you can also find the quiz feedback and attempt. So here you go. You can see my practice quizzes. I can open up the details. I can go directly to my attempt one. Or in the second quiz, I can see my other two attempts. And so this is a really great place to come in and find the feedback from your quiz attempts as well.